Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your server to the 1.14 update without losing any of your progress on the server or having to reset all of your code. To get started, obviously, you want to be in the file browser section where all the code is. Daisy PS missions, if you're on PlayStation, if you're on Xbox, it should say Daisy XV missions. Daisy Offline Chernoris Plus, if you're on the Chernoris map, but if you're on Livonia, it's going to give you uh, the Enoch option. Uh, but this video, this update, and this paste bin that I'm doing right now is for Chernoris only. But if you want the Livonia one, go ahead and join my Discord uh, that I'll be leaving a link for down in the comments below and in the description of the video. Uh, on the Discord, uh, I will have everything ready for you guys in, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, right here, the 1.14 update channel. Now, to get started, this is the paste bin that I will be leaving a link for down in the description below. And uh, it should be very uh, simple. It's going to tell you all the steps, like which file to go to and what to do with what entry, whether it's replace or just add it as a new one. Now, this uh, code beautify, the XML validator, is very important. It's, it's really good to have on your server. Uh, for your uh, server, I mean, like when you're coding. So I'm going to be leaving a link for this uh, validator down in the description below. You guys can just uh, get on it from there. To get started, we're going to control F, find the infected firefighter, which now have um, a new child line. The NBC zombies can be in uh, fire stations. So we're just going to replace that. Here is the new zombie, the NBC yellow. Uh, and also another entry, the medic, also has the NBC zombies added to it. So we're going to do that real quick also. Infected medic is done. Now, there is the heli crash, also has a new child, the MI 18 crashed. So let's add that real quick. And 20. Perfect. Now, now that we've done that, the new entry is the infected NBC and the infected NBC yellow and the contaminated zone. So we're going to go ahead and add those at the top right here. That's all done. I think that's it for events.xml. We're going to go ahead and control A, copy, and paste it back onto the events.xml file. Now that we're done with that part, uh, we want to go ahead and open the event spawns .xml. Event spawns. And just add this new entry at the top of the file. But also just to make sure, always, always validate your code before uh, saving the changes to your server. Uh, now, in the types.xml, there is a fair few uh, additions. So we're going to go ahead and grab the types.xml file real quick. Copy. Paste that. Okay, here's all the new additions. Let's just drop it at the top again as well. This I might have to delete because I had this modded in, but now it's added to the game. 
Or is it control client trip wire? Yeah, I'm just going to delete that. OK, now obviously, if you don't have that added to your server, you can just leave it be. Uh, these need replacing because the lifetime is now different. So we're just going to quickly replace. And also, the one right below it, the crashed one, is a new addition. So we might as well just do this. We can either keep or delete that. It doesn't matter. And uh, also this, the only change to it is the lifetime of three. Now that the types.xml is all done. Yeah, perfect. It is all done. We're going to paste that in there. It's all valid. Save the changes. Let's see what we have next. Now, a new entry to the spawnable types.xml. Uh, I'm going to have to drop this to the validator because I like to keep the spawnable types as organized as possible. Uh, the zombies, I would like to, yes, drop them right where the zombies belong. So we're just going to add them right here. And then control find weapons is where I want to drop the FAMAS and also the ammo box. I'm going to drop this here. Where's the gas masks? Yes. We'll drop these in here also at the very top. Perfect. Now we want to go ahead, control uh, copy again, and uh, drop it back onto the spawnable types.xml. What's the next entry? I think we're almost done. So a new entry to the map group proto. Now, this is a very common question that I get on the coding discord is that what to do when a file is locked like that? Well, it's very simple. You want to go ahead and download the file. And then once it's downloaded, do the changes to it. Uh, in this case, uh, I am going to be adding the new heli crash to it. And just drop it right here. Okay. Again, before saving changes, do always make sure that the file is valid. Once it's valid, save changes up top over here, uh, and then. Uh, Go back to the server, delete the map group proto that was already up there, and then upload on the desktop the map group proto that you just downloaded and edit it. Now it's going to be uploaded back with the changes done. Now this is a new usage. If you want to make any loot exclusive to the contaminated area, you can use this usage on the items, but first you have to make sure the game recognizes the usage by dropping it into the limits definition. Now the very last thing we want to do here is drop the contaminated we're going to presets. Yes, the contaminated cargo onto the random presets so that the zombies will start dropping the gas mask filters. Again, always validate your file. And if, it's all check, if it all checks out, just go ahead and save changes. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. It's honestly the support I've been getting lately on all of my videos has been very beautiful, and I really, really appreciate it. Please drop a like and subscribe for more Daisy content.